Hello everyone, we are back again. This time our second annual look at our Blu-ray collection. Uh, we started last year doing collections of video games or movie formats or things that we know are going to grow a lot in the coming years rather than stuff like we don't that we get occasionally or there's not a whole lot left on our list and things that are growing. And one of those is the Blu-ray. Blu-ray! So we are back and this is our Blu-ray collection as of January 2021 and we'll start with the Disney movies and like kind of family friendly kind of stuff. We'll start with those. Family. Start with the two disc diamond edition Peter Pan. Peter Pan. We have Tron, the original, original classic. classic. Then we have the three disc edition of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I have Tron Legacy 3D with the lenticular cover. Yep, all different editions there of that movie. And we have the diamond edition of Lady and the Tramp. And we have just a plain edition. These are weird when they're just plain editions and there's no... Uh, for Disney we have so many different diamond editions. Enchanted. In and Cinderella, the diamond edition, Blue DVD combo. And then we have the Own the Moments. Uh, we have two different collections of Don Bluth. Mm -hmm. So we have... That's most of them. Most of them. Do, most of them. That's cool. And we have Mulan, one and two, three disc edition. I don't know why the two is on there. Yeah, it's just included. We'll never watch it, but it's included. Anastasia. It's nice and purple. Yeah, nice standalone slipcover. Then we have the combo edition of The Little Mermaid. We have Lamb Before Time. Mm -hmm. There only needs to be one. There should not be more. Yeah, the bunch are all. But there are. And these are interesting because these two, and I didn't remember until my mom reminded us at Christmas time, these were the first two VHS tapes I ever owned as a kid. The Aww. Lamb Before Time and The Little Mermaid. Then we have the Great Mouse Detective combo. Love that movie. Another favorite movie of mine, this is the Enchanted Edition of The Last Unicorn. A great movie. Mm -hmm. Super underrated. Everyone should watch it. It's a good movie. I, it's I'm, good. I'm not a fan of that art style, but it's a good movie. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Doors combo edition. We have Kobo and the Two Strings. Thought that was a really good movie. Yeah. Bad voice cast choices for but some people, was but great. everything was great. great. The 35th anniversary combo edition of Pete's Dragon. Much better than the new one that came out. Well, I don't know what they were that doing. That goes for most things. The original Christmas classics, Claymation. Yep. Then we have the 40th anniversary combo edition of Disney's Robin Hood, the Sexy Fox. My Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Speaking of my boyfriends. Sexy Sonic. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I love Sonic. It was great. They're yes. finally making video game movies that actually... That are decent. Yeah. That are actually yeah. good, which I don't know why that took so long. There's another one of the Diamond Editions, but one of those shorter ones, because the di you know, Disney can't keep the sizes the same, but the Diamond Edition of 101 Dalmatians. Boy, DVD combo. I wish they would just keep them the same. Yeah, and then the Diamond Edition of Aladdin combo. This is one of the first Blu-rays we ever owned. One of the first, like, three, I guess. Yeah. Alright, move on to the next pile. Detective Pikachu. Another video game movie Great. that Good works. Movie. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the next one's coming out soon. We have Shrek, the anniversary edition. And then one that you were excited for, Shrek the musical, the Broadway musical. I don't know why there's not more of these. Really good. Yeah, I really wish more. But there's not. More Broadway musicals are available. This is the Of Pirates and Pigs collection, Muppet Treasure Island, and it's the Great Muppet Keeper. We have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The Greatest Showman. And then we have the original Turtles movie and volume two as well. Look at that face. Look at that face. One of my favorite movies, Hook. Goofy Mrs. Doubtfire. Mm -hmm. And Good Morning Vietnam. Vietnam. And that moves us into the Arnold movies on Blu-ray. Uh, not the biggest Arnold portion of our Arnold collection. I did a video on that. Go check that out. Uh, this is a cool combination set that includes Total Recall, The Last Stand, Terminator 2, Red Heat, Maggie, and Hercules in New York. Really weird mix, but some new stuff, some old stuff. Uh, cool variety pack. Uh, the modern Christmas classic, Jingle All the Way. Commando. I don't think there was a toy this year like that. That, toy that the everyone crazy, had to get. yeah, yeah, that, that people like, are just trying me, to survive this year. and that kind of stuff. Uh, both the Conan movies, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. And then this is the DVD, Blu-ray, and 3D Blu-ray combo pack of Predator, and that leads me into the beginning of the 1980s, which 
Amanda says it's not a category, but That's to me it is. That's not a genre. Uh, first up, we have this VHS-style Blu-ray release of The Breakfast Club. This is a release line. They did a whole bunch of movies like this, but... Which found, you found at the VHS. Yes, I found this with VHS at a thrift store for like 25 cents, the Blu-ray edition. So that's really cool. Then I also have the Steelbook version of The Breakfast Club. Then we have National Lampoon's Vacation. Not for Amanda. And European Vacation. Not for Amanda. Yeah, not, not movies that you like. This not is for This is for you, yes. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Gremlins. I love Gizmo. He's so cute. And this is a great 80s combination. Uh, it's Gremlins 25th Anniversary Edition, so the same edition as this, uh, with Gremlins 2 and the Goonies in a triple pack. I like some of these big packs. So, yeah, I love the triple packs. Those are really good, especially when they are on multiple discs. Yes. This is the three disc collection, because sometimes it's on just like one or a flipper or something for a DVD, but flipper. three discs. And then we have the Goonies Steelbook. That one's pretty yeah, wood grain. Wood grain and... And eventually I'm going to do a Goonies collection because we're done with that movie, so you'll see this again. Goonies! And a steelbook edition of Ghostbusters. <gasps> Real Ghostbusters. Yes. Continuing with the 80s, we have the 20th High School Reunion edition of Heather's Great Black Comedy. This something that scared me growing up, but not as much as Mac and me Not as much as the McDonald's ripoff, but oh, I love that movie. E.T. E and we have, uh, this is probably what, your favorite Eddie Murphy movie overall? Probably. 35th anniversary edition of it's Trading Places. This is not yeah. my favorite movie. This is great. This is, I don't know what happens. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, this is ridiculous. I don't even understand. <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop, uh, the first one, definitely the best of those. Die Hard. Never seen it. Revenge of the Nerds. I wish that they would remake this. They keep talking about no, it. Not remake, sequel. Sequel. Not remake, remake. Terrible. Anything. Yeah. I'd take anything. Yeah. Beetlejuice. 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 Love it. And then we have the George Lucas classic. No, not Star Wars. Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Batman Returns in this nice steel book. Cool. One of my favorite 80s movies. One of my favorite comfort movies ever. 25th anniversary edition of Adventures in Babysitting. This is Clue. The movie. Yes, which you watch, Tim for, Curry. Yeah, you watch for Tim Curry at the end, pretty much. Uh, the Blu-ray DVD combo of Overboard. I just saw that recently. Yeah, we should watch that. The never-ending story. Oh. So beautiful. Childhood trauma. Oh, and the 25th anniversary edition of The Last Starfighter. Nightmare on Elm Street. And we have the um, Blu-ray DVD combo of Big Trouble in Little China, my favorite John Carpenter movie, and the DVD, uh, the, sorry, the Blu-ray version with the slipcover of this uh, later release of Big Trouble in Little China. Different yeah. versions. Wax on. Wax off. Yes. Karate Kid. From Karate Kid 1 and, one two. and 2. The only Karate yeah. Kids that yeah. actually exist. We have all of them on DVD, but those two the are only the classics. Yeah. Karate those Kids those that classics. actually exist. We have the Collector's Edition, the Shout Factory release of John Carpenter's The Thing. You're the thing. And then uh, keep it with it just to keep them together from the Warner Archive, the original Howard Hawks production of The Thing from Another World. The Ultimate Edition of Legend, which just like Ridley Scott's other big famous movie Blade Runner, watch the director's cut, not the theatrical cut. The theatrical cut's good in its own right, Tangerine Dream Score, but watch the director's cut. No. Then we have The Lost Boys and the Steelbook, this beautiful Steelbook release of Labyrinth. Made me a woman. Just beautiful. Some beautiful Bowie Bulge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have the live action Master of the Universe, which is off the wall ridiculous. <laughs> I love that He Man movie. <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles. And some things that are not for me. Yes, definitely. Not for, for me. me. Me alone. This is Blade Runner, the final, final cut. cut. Yep. Then we have. It's also the final cut. That's a special Taiwanese release. The I like that the it's like interesting. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's, more it's a of a roundy, yeah. roundy. It's a different cover. Thing, roundy so. shape. Special Taiwanese release. Very exciting because we need more than one. Mm -hmm. And then I keep with it, of course. Yeah, the sequel. Twenty forty nine. Also not something I'm gonna check out. Yeah, definitely not the Amanda. Not for the Amanda. Roger Rabbit, 25th Anniversary Edition, two-disc combo pack. This one is for Amanda. It is The Complete Adventures of Indiana Jones in Steelbook. Very pretty, lovely, wonderful. You just did a video on it. Mm -hmm. Yep, my whole was... Indiana Jones collection, laser disc and everything. Lovely. The Fly. And one that's just bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepaway Camp. 
the only part that was like entertaining was the very end. Ah, uh, no, the whole movie's funny from no. start to finish. Uh, I love that movie. No. So on, on a related note of more 80s and then dipping into the horror genre, getting in that direction, we have the original Evil Dead Steelbook. Nice release there. Then my favorite steelbook in our whole collection, this Evil Dead 2 DVD Blu-ray combo steelbook. It's a beautiful release. Love that. So that's my favorite one there. And then we have the 25th anniversary edition of the Evil Dead 2. And keeping all the Evil Dead stuff together, I so far have the first season complete of Ash vs. the Evil Dead with this lenticular slipcover. Yes. And another lenticular, we have The Shining. And a movie that we just watched the horrible remake of. Uh, we had the original Black Christmas. I didn't know we had edition. that. Yes, you need, watch, you need to watch it sometime. It's a good movie. Much better than the one Hopefully we Hopefully it's going to be better. Much, it's much better, trust me. Uh, the People Under the Stairs, a I really, love this movie. really entertaining Wes Craven movie. And we have the uh, John Carpenter's Halloween. And Boris Karloff, The Mummy. One of the best of the Universal monster movies. This is my South Korean import of Dario Argento's Suspiria. So random. Yeah, from South Korea. Um, this is the 2D and 3D version of The Creature from the Black Lagoon. And this man I just got recently, the collector's edition of 13 Ghosts, the remake, favorites. early 2000s version. And then we have the extended director's cut of The Exorcist. Much scarier than I remember. Yes. And the original Stephen King miniseries with Tim Curry, not the more recent movies, but It. I like this much more. So. Mm. Alright, move on. Alright, so okay. continuing with horror and then moving slowly into like disaster I don't know, movies. this isn't really horror. It's funny. This is just it's weird. It's supposed to be horror. This is The American Mummy. It also comes in 3D, which we need to see. Yeah, I know. We haven't watched in 3D yet. There's no mummy. But <laughs> it, it, it exists. It just doesn't It exists, doesn't but you move. don't see the mummy. It doesn't move. This is a better one. Dead Mine. Really, really entertaining. Very interesting cast. Yeah, interesting B-movie. Then we have Jaws. Mm. Little... Rare, rare film there. No one's <laughs> heard have of that. On, have on every format, pretty much. Deep Blue Sea, which I was excited Stefan finally watched. Yeah, with I, me. Hadn't, I had not seen it before, and I liked it. It was, it was a classic, it was classic good. movie. Love Samuel L. Jackson in that. Poseidon Adventure. The Poseidon Adventure, which is like the same thing. <laughs> it's like the same caliber. The, no, I don't know the same caliber. There's a lot the in common, though, if you thing. watch them back to back. Same a lot in common. thing. Airport. Ugh. Yeah. Towering yes. Inferno. Oh, was, Jay Simpson. I will sing that movie's praises to the end of time. I no. love Towering Inferno. No, no, no. This is a double pack the Cassandra Crossing and the Domino Principal. And the Cassandra Crossing is the one to really watch on there. That's really good. And Never not, seen not always either. easy to find. Uh, then moving on to uh, Jackie Chan on Blu ray. Uh, eventually, I'm going to do a collection of him someday, but he's not complete on any format. So. Uh, a lot of Jackie Chan, big fan. So we had the Warner Archive release, the extended original cut of Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, which before this, uh, I think it was just Laserdisc, was the only way to get the full version. Whoa. Then we have uh, Wheels on Meals, uh, in Japan known as Spartan X. This is the Hong Kong release. I don't like that. Everything mm. has like five different a names. A lot of Jackie Chan's. Well, different covers. Getting to these, this combo pack here is Operation Condor 1 and 2 and Project A 1 and 2. But if you live in different regions, Operation Condor 1 and 2 have totally different names. So, not, those are only here. This is a totally different. Those are all his you know, very classic movies. These are more modern movies here. And it's another one of these combo packs. It is Bleeding Steel, Dragon Blade, and Skip Trace, which you should just skip entirely. Then we have Jackie Chan's First Strike, which is another one. So this is Police Story 4. But depending on where you live, it might just be called First Strike. Then we have The Foreigner, which was a very good movie really surprisingly good. I definitely exceeded my expectations. We have one of his classic, one of his first real success stories in the West, Rumble in the Bronx. And my favorite Jackie Chan movie of all time, uh, The Legend of Drunken Master, which is Drunken Master 2, but over here it's just Legend of Drunken Master. <laughs> then the remake of The Karate Kid. No! Jaden Smith. This is pretty good. That's this weird. Was better than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty good. It's Mr. Miyagi. This beautiful Beautiful collection, the trilogy of the Rush Hour trilogy, which hopefully Rush Hour 4 actually happens. We keep hearing things, uh, but hopefully it happens because this, this is a great collection of movies. And then one of the, you know, we talk about video game movies. This was a good one. No, the it wasn't. Mortal Kombat. No, it wasn't. This is entertaining. No. 
and uh, there Donnie, we go. Donnie Ann, uh, Iceman, the time traveler, Classic. and the original 80s no. Iceman. No. It's a Hong Kong import. And then going to some Japanese Spain. imports, we have Azumi 1 and 2, uh, which is the first one I have on DVD. The second one, I get uh, both in Japan. And a great, fun 80s Hong Kong action movie, <gasps> The Inspector Wears Skirts. This is, this is great, classic 80s Hong Kong. And then we have uh, The Curse of the Golden Flower, which is just incredible, um, unbelievable melodrama. Chow Yun Fat and Gong Li, good movie. Moving on kind of into some studio classics, we have... Ugh, Cleopatra. I've never watched the, 60s the whole epic. thing. I feel like I'm never going to get through it. I don't know. It's, it's, too it's good. I've, long. I've watched it, but I've only watched it in full like twice because it's nope. so long. Uh, to have, have not. Never seen it. Don't care to. My second favorite Bogey and Bacall movie. This is Key Largo. Mm -hmm. Never seen it. Based off stage play. Don't care to. It, it's awesome. Don't listen to her. Great movie. The Thin Man. One of the best movies ever made. I have actually seen this. Very good. It's Probably very good. never again. Ugh. Children of Divorce. Mm -hmm. I have seen this. Don't need to see Claire it again. Bell. So rude. <laughs> this is Wings. First Best Picture winner. My gosh. Clara Bow again. Clara Bow. Now we're moving into Marilyn. Uh, there's no show business. There's no show business. There's, there's no, no business, business like, like show business. business. I've no never business seen this. I know. Don't care to. How to marry a millionaire? Maybe I'll watch this. This is that's learn good. how to learn how to marry a yeah. millionaire. Yeah. And then we have two copies, which are different. Yes. One is the one has French, and one is does not have French. Some like hot. Yes. Classic. Very exciting. We have one of her most underrated movies, Niagara. I watched like Fox ten release. minutes of that. Beautiful movie. And Seven Year Itch. I watched like 10 minutes of that. Yeah, I think a lot of Maryland movies you've like wandered in while I've been watching them over the years. And I make a rude so, comment and wander yeah, out. Leave. Yeah, River of No Return, which is really good except for the uh, rape scene. Uh, then we have uh, Howard Hawks, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and The Misfits. This is a documentary, Marilyn Monroe Declassified, more about uh, her death, which we have multiple documentaries in other formats about that uh, subject. And this is the now defunct Twilight Time uh, releases that, that's gone now, these special releases. Uh, this is Don't Bother to Knock. Because everybody has it as dead. This is, uh, Twilight Time is just, it's gone. Beautiful. One of the Blu ray releases, we have that. And that is the only one of these that I actually have two copies of. Uh, these are special because they only make like 3,000 ever. Uh, so they are a limited series you have to get. So Don't Bother to Knock, I had to grab. Then we have Audrey Hepburn's How to Steal a Million. That was actually entertaining. Very I saw good movie. like 20 minutes mm -hmm. of that. Um, a classic Japanese movie, The Yellow Handkerchief, which I think had an American remake just like a decade or so ago. Never saw it, but this is a good movie here. Uh, and then we have Take a Girl Like You. And the last one that I have from that release line, with Betty Grable in Pin Up Girl, that famous image that helped sell uh, razors to women. Another big studio classic and one of my favorite movies ever. We had the beautiful steelbook of The Wizard of Oz. That is a pretty steelbook. So we'll have another version of Wizard of Oz to show you at the end of this video. We'll wait on that. Uh, then we have uh, Sunset Boulevard and Grand Hotel. Moving into some of the Hitchcock, we have Psycho. North by Northwest, my favorite of his. Rear Window. Vertigo, and Casablanca, one of those movies I will never get tired of. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo for that. So we have a couple of Marvel movies, not yeah. a ton yet. Yeah, slowly piecing those together. Um, we are getting just the Blu-ray DVD combos of those. Yeah, so trying to have the same release basically for all of them. Let's see, Thor, the original Thor. We have Captain America, First Avenger. We have Avengers. And Doctor Strange. We have Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home. Then we have a Own the Moments pack with Daredevil, Elektra, but most importantly, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the only one of these that actually matters. Daredevil's okay. Nope. It was okay. Nope. Elektra's terrible. Nope. Brothers Grimm. I love these movies. These are such good movies. This is also another hidden gem. It's fantastic. 
Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. It's got everything in this. That was funny. Everything. That was funny. Everything. That was, that was Even diabetes. That was There's everything in it. We have the first Deadpool movie. We still need the second one. We saw it in theaters, but we don't own it yet. And X-Men. Yeah, well, X-Men. So, X-Men. The original X-Men. We have X2. We have Last Stand. X3. The Wolverine. We have First Class. And then uh, Days of Future Past. With yeah, the, the robe cut. The special. robe cut with the special little fold-out and the cover. Okay, so finishing up X-Men, we have the Steelbook of X-Men Apocalypse. And this really nice Steelbook. We have Dark Phoenix. And Logan. Then we have one DC. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's the only one. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Just one. We have the original Hellboy. Love Hellboy. This is Hellboy 2, Golden Army, and Steelbook. Very pretty. And then the sad. Mm. The meh. The new Hellboy. Could have been good. Could have been really good. It's at the slipcover. We have my favorite, Underworld. I love the lichens. They're awesome. He's great. I love the series so much. This is the first one. There's the second one, Lucian. There's that one. Yeah, this one's in 3D, so yeah. we're only missing one. Yep, we're Almost done. done. Yeah, have them on DVD, but I've seen one on Blu-ray. Uh, the Steelbook of Arrival, which we saw in theaters and really enjoyed. And Saw Theater is not long after that, Annihilation with Natalie Portman, which I absolutely love. This is one of the best sci-fi movies I've seen recently. And we have the Steelbook of Galaxy Quest. I love that Steelbook. The Steelbook of the newer Total Recall. I really like that. It was okay. It wasn't Total uh, Recall. Definitely not, yeah. I feel like they should have just called it something else, because yeah. it really wasn't... Yeah, I mean, it took a little bit more from the story, but it was okay. Not done. Uh, we have the limited edition Steelbook of Serenity. I love Serenity. Firefly movie. And we have, this is a DVD, Blu-ray, and 3D Blu-ray combo pack of Jurassic Park. We have a lot of 3D. Yes. 3D. One of the biggest classics of our childhood. This weird thing that every once in a while falls off the I shelf. I hate But of Jurassic World, which edition. I, like, I think everyone has this tin, and it's... Nobody likes this tin. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And one of my favorite box sets on the format we here, we had the uh, all three, all four uh, Aliens movies, Alien Anthology, and a couple, several discs worth of extra features. So this is like a really cool digi book release in this box digi, set. Digi, digi. So Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Resurrection. Great collection there. And this is a three disc uh, DVD Blu-ray and 3D Blu-ray of James Cameron's Avatar, which we'll finally get a sequel to, or multiple sequels to soon. But yeah. start watching that. We saw it the first time. Right when we start dating. Yeah, when right we started before. dating, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like a we, decade very later. Long time. Yeah. Uh, then we have a V, the original mini series, and Forbidden Planet. Thinking with uh, science fiction, we have 2001 a Space Odyssey and Fantastic Voyage, really good film. Then we have Logan's Run, uh, more modern sci fi, Ex Machina. And this is Species, the Blu-ray DVD combo. <laughs> not, qu have not quite in the same uh, quality there. Uh, this is the really cool Mill Creek Steelbook of Mill Mothra. Mill Creek? Oh, Stefan's favorite. I love Mill Creek. They've been stepping up their game the past, past few years. And then we have Son of Kong. I uh, still don't have the original King Kong on Blu-ray. I have other formats, but Son of Kong. Uh, this is the Steelbook of The Empire Strikes Back. And Rogue One, the combo edition. Both Very enjoyed good. that. On this black uh, cover edition here, we have Why? The Force Awakens. Why is it combo. black? Why? Why do they have to make it different? And then the uh, big collection here, the Legacy Collection, all the original Planet of the Apes films. I love cool. every one of these. Really good collection. Enjoy that. And now we can finally watch the newer films. We haven't seen we can any of them. binge all of them. Yeah, we haven't seen any of them. We're waiting until we had all three. We're going to start at the beginning. So, yeah, We're going to just go. We're going to do Planet marathon. Planet of the Apes marathon. For like, marathon. It's like a two-day marathon. All We're right. just not going to sleep. Yeah. We got... Warcraft 3D. This was better than I thought. Yeah, it was, it was okay. This was this was better than I yeah. thought. I enjoyed that. This is one of my favorite steelbooks. I love this. This is the Mummy Ultimate Collection steelbook 
I love this. It's so pretty. It's so wonderful. It's Brendan Fraser. Yes. I love it. This I don't love. Yeah, those are for me a lot. Lara Croft Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider movies. With my guilty pleasure action Angelina movies. Angelina Jolie. I don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like her. She has no face. What? She has no emotions on her face. Oh. And then you have Zorro. This yes. is this is totally uh, totally yours. Catherine Zeta. -Jones. Not a not a huge huge Great fan. Movie. Great movie, the bad sequel. The extended cut of Sucker Punch, a movie that didn't know how to advertise for itself, it failed miserably. Yeah. This is not a good movie. I would not recommend this movie. It's a brilliant movie. No. The only good Luke Besson movie. I'll get flack for that, but yeah. No. The only good one. Leon the Professional Steelbook. Mm -hmm. Don't do this to yourself. It's not good. It's weird. It's weird. Watch it if you have taste. <laughs> this might not end well. This video. <laughs> might end violently. This is gonna might end, end very might end like those. This is our Rocky collection on Blu-ray. Yeah. This is the little baby one. I know, yeah. We Rock. have it on DVD, but not yet. And VHS and yeah, Laserdisc so and have one CED. And four. Everything, one, yeah. And four. But and one and four. Yeah. But I feel like these are easy enough to get. Yeah, you yeah. will find them eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a movie I've never seen all of. <sighs> Don't really care to. Air Force One. Love it. Good stuff. It's good for you. Charlie's Angels. This is a Stefan movie. Yes, very much so. I like Drew Barrymore. This is Pulp Fiction. This is stupid. Black Swan. Never actually seen it, though. See, you can't tell it say it's stupid <laughs> if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Taxi Driver? Yeah, classic. Never seen it. You gotta see that. And that's you, a steel book. You've been getting into that director, so you have to see that sometime, eventually. Yes. The Graduate? Never seen it. You're trying to seduce me? <sighs> this yeah. is stupid. I don't know why we have a Western. Why do we have an Western? We, we shouldn't. Because it's we Claudia, shouldn't. Claudia Cardinale. We shouldn't own a Western. Once upon Western. a time in the West. If you're gonna watch a western, it's one of the best ones. Yeah. And I'm not a big western fan, but. No westerns, yeah. please. Home Alone 1 and 2. We just watched the first one again mm -hmm. recently. Has a little weird slip cover y thing. Whoosh. We have Devil Wears Prada. And 50 First Dates. I like that one. Yeah. Except Adam Sandler. Everything else about it, I like. And, and Adam Sandler's friend. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah, his friend. Yeah, kind of his friends, yeah. But uh, we have the deluxe edition of what translates oh. to I Just Want to Hug You. Wow. The Japanese Aren't drama. you excited? I love super... Everyone go run out I love super this. sappy Japanese dramas, I do. He likes uh, girl have, soap operas. Uh, Color Me True, also known as uh, Tonight at the Movies. He likes, Fantastic. like, preteen... I love, I love J-dramas. I love J-dramas. Dramas. Uh, what I haven't watched yet, because we just got it from Hong Kong like a week ago, and I haven't had a chance to Flying Colors. It's a Japanese movie. Uh, I get the Hong Kong edition whenever I can, because then it comes automatically with English subtitles. But So I haven't had a chance to watch that one yet. Uh, this is uh, one of our, both of our favorites. Uh, Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Love I Drew Barrymore. love that movie so much. That was a great movie. Uh, then we have a few more uh, romantic comedies from the Warner Archive. We have The Prize. And with Jane Fonda, we have Sunday in New York. I don't like Jane Fonda. And I like Jane Fonda. Barefoot in the Park. Great movie based off a play. Uh, Jane Fonda, Rob Redford. Good. And then we have My Cousin Vinny. This is racist. One of the funniest movies ever. This is a racist movie. <laughs> Such a racist movie. Amanda is an Italian New Yorker, so anytime she sees movies where they're like very overtly Italian New York, she gets offended, and I, I love it. That's probably why I love you. Uh, then we have the Collector's Edition Blu-ray DVD combo of Mystery Science Theater 3000 movie. I don't which, know why they made this. Uh, the extra features here are actually better than the movie. The, why? the making no, of documentaries. It's just another better. episode. It's just a longer episode. It's a decent episode, yeah. But it's it's just a the, longer the, episode. If you it's haven't seen the bonus features, the making of this movie is actually more interesting than the movie. It's really good. Uh, this is more for you, but I thought it was enjoyable. But we had The Disaster Artist, which yeah. I, mean, I had to get after seeing the room and reading the book. And then, which uh, I just gave this to Amanda to, uh, today for our anniversary, so you can show that off. Very excited about this. That was my anniversary gift to you. This is gonna be great. I can't wait to watch this. Probably by myself because I'll watch it with you. I just you're, you're you love you with love me? Tommy Wiseau. Yes, I'm, I I'm curious. I love Tommy yeah. Wiseau. He's like I'm curious, a beautiful, but you're like beautiful super person. Into this is Best Friends Volume One and Two, which was not out before. So yes. very exciting. 
And it's a, there's a digital copy, so if anybody wants to watch this, <laughs> hit me up. We'll give it to your brother. <laughs> to entertain our nephew with that. Uh, speaking of beautiful people, we uh. have Will Ferrell in Land of the Lost. <laughs> and the first Austin Powers movie, my favorite. Yeah, I did a collection video on that franchise. Check that out. Now, continuing with more comedies, getting Mel Brooks. We have High Anxiety. Space Falls. Absolute classic. This should be oh, yeah. up with, like, the Marilyn movies. <laughs> we have Young Frankenstein. Yes. Great movie. Blazing Saddles. We have Les Mis. Yeah, more Actually, a decent... Yeah, decent adaptation. As I'd far say, as as far as Les Mis goes... Yes, yeah. I the love, other ones are, I like, a train I love Les Mis, wreck. yeah. But the other movie adaptations are... Except for except for this this man right here. Uh, Russell Crowe. That man right oh, there. Russell Crowe. This man right Come here on, ruins Tugger. this. Yeah. But He's a problem. Hugh Jackman's He's a problem. Glorious. This is a Rocky Horror yeah. Picture Show. Speaking of glorious. That's pretty glorious. We have Chicago. Another one we differ on. I love that. The Diamond Edition. I love Chicago. This Ew. is. I love this movie. And another one with Catherine Zeta Jones. Ew. We have a concert. And Kylie Minogue concert. Because we need that. Yeah. It's actually a European import. Region free import. Wow. Uh, then we're moving into the uh, Studio Ghibli movies, which Ghibli's. we have been putting together. Uh, we had the Disney Presents release when they were doing releasing them over here of My Neighbor Totoro. Uh -oh. And then we, because we've been getting on DVD and things, and we kind of stopped getting these mostly because we've been switching to instead the new uh, Steelbooks that were coming out. So hopefully they all come out in this. Yeah, these Mario are all Totoro. DVD combos. Yeah, these are all Blu-ray DVD combo. combos, except for Grave of the Fireflies. That one's just, we have a, a standalone DVD, but uh, Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind, and I've done videos on all of these already. As I'm coming out, Kiki's Delivery Service, and then Ponyo. This one is the one's different. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies. That has which a is pretty cover on Always, back. yeah, but this one's always different, but that's a brilliant movie. And then we have Howl's Moving Castle. Princess Mononoke, mm -hmm. and the most okay. recent one here, Spirited Away. Moving on to TV shows on Blu-ray, nothing like uh, DVD. Blu-ray is, yeah, not as no. much. We have South Park. We only have season six. Yes, my favorite season. We have season everything I want on DVD. Six. That was the season I wanted to get an extra copy of on Blu-ray. My favorite season. We have The Jetsons. This is the complete, yeah, complete original, original run. Yeah. run. Yeah, so not the oh, later seasons the from Jetsons. the 80s. Original, the original run. There you go. We have Outlaw Star. This is the complete series. Mm -hmm. The complete yeah. series. Very exciting. And the studio did Cowboy Bebop uh, before Cowboy Bebop. And then we have seasons one, two, and three of Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. We have the whole thing on DVD. Yes. Which I like much better. I think these are ugly compared oh my to, but compared to the DVD. I, I think the DVD ones are prettier. That's my favorite era of Dragon Ball Z. So those are the three that I wanted. Those up to the end of Frieza, and that's like... I like the DVD horror. ones better. I think yeah. they're prettier. And we're going to live action TV shows. We have an uh, import box set from Japan, uh, Kamen Rider Black RX, so volume one, which comes with a big box set in case you want to fill in the other two volumes. RX? Every time. Is it yes. a prescription? Yeah, it's got a prescription for badassery. Then we have the ultimate edition of season two of I Love Lucy, my favorite season of that show. Then we have uh, two imports of uh, episodes of Columbo, TV's weird. Greatest okay. Detective. They're very odd. It was only released in um, the Blu-ray format in Japan. Either there's a box set of the whole thing in a cigar box, or it's these individual releases, and each one contains two episodes, uh, since each episode's a movie-length thing. So, a couple of those. Uh, we have The X-Files, complete season two. And for Stargate, we have Stargate Continuum, the second SG-1 movie. movie. And this is really cool. We found this at a dollar store, actually, one time. We happened to be there. This is Stargate Atlantis Fan's Choice, which is the first and last episode. So it's Rising, and then the last episode of Atlantis. I love that you have that in the case. We I love the dollar it. Store. I, I don't care. I love this. <laughs> this is really so... Funny. I love Stargate Atlantis. So, uh, And then Blu-ray. For a lot of TV shows, Blu-ray is just not really much of a thing. And for some TV shows, I like to use it as like a South Park and X-Files, like a best of, and like the same thing with DBZ. I just want those couple favorite seasons. So Atlantis, my two favorite seasons are three and four. So we have three and four. So kind of a best of type thing. Uh, and then for Farscape, this is the 15th anniversary edition. We don't have season one yet, still looking for that. But we have season two and three. We have the whole thing on. And four, yeah, we have a DVD box set, of course. 
So the one last thing here before we move on to documentaries and that kind of stuff. I said we're going to see Wizard of Oz again. I did a video unboxing of this. I'll just show the box here. This is the limited edition with the 3D Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray, DVD, like everything. This huge box set for the Wizard of Oz. Moving on to our documentaries on Blu-ray. Let's start with that. We have Yosemite, the High Sierras. This one's we haven't seen yet. Yes. Uh, we have one of the IMAX releases, Deep Sea, which has a 3D version there. That would be really cool to check out. I haven't seen 3D. Glacier National Park. Another one of the IMAX 3Ds to the Arctic. This is Alaska's Rainforest, Landscape of Change. It's very exciting. Now these two super long ones, each one of these is like hours and hours. We have Elvira, the Elvira Mistress of the Dark special release version, the collector's edition of In Search of Darkness, documentary all about 80s horror movies. This is a special edition. You got a special pin with it. Mm -hmm. It was very exciting. Yes. This is Magnificent Italia. This yeah. is three discs. Three this is, it's like six hours. This is three discs of long. Just like of just visions of Italy. It's like six hours of Italy. <laughs> so for Star Trek. Yes, the most important part of the Blu-ray library, which is still in infancy. Yeah, this, growing, is, this is probably slowly the, growing. the biggest thing we have. So season three on Blu-ray. Then we have the complete series. Yeah, I just got that for Christmas. Just got that in all of its glory. I think this is weird looking. This doesn't make me think of TNG. Oh, the one back there. They're so serious. But the front is beautiful and it's a this great is, collection. This the side, is them. Yeah, but I love it. The whole series. Whole series there. This is like a promo preview disc of yeah. the high definition that will be. Yeah, it has two complete episodes. It's two or three. Three complete episodes. It has Encounter at Farpoint and then Sins of the Father and the Inner Light. And it was promoting that TNG was coming to Blu-ray and re being remastered those three episodes. And then this is Picard Movie and TV Collection. So this has a bunch. This has the four movies mm -hmm. and two feature-length episodes. Mm -hmm. So very exciting. Comes with a slip cover. Yeah, really cool. And as far as we have so far for the original series, we just have the movies. I don't have any of the series yet, but we have the motion picture, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and then we have three, Star Trek Spock, four, The Voyage Home. They're all the Wales. same release, the same matching thing, The Final Frontier. And then we have Undiscovered Country. Oh, I wish I'd sealed one, a second one of that. I love the Discovered Country. And this is really cool. This is my favorite of these releases. This is the Star Trek Motion Picture Trilogy set. Uh, we had the matching one for DVD as well for these, because to me, this is my favorite movie trilogy. Even more Lord of the Rings or anything. Wrath of Star Trek, you know, 2, 3, and 4. Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, and Voyage Home. I love them. So this is a Blu-ray collection. It's just the three of them together as like one, one big set. Uh, we have two other Star Trek things here. We have Season 1 of Enterprise. And we have What We Left Behind, which is the uh, this is the special backers edition. I was one of the backers for the uh, Deep Space Nine documentary. Ira. Yes. So, a nice purple like his beard on the background. And that is the end of our Blu-ray collection as of January 2021. Yes, that was, that was a lot to move around and put back. a lot of moving. Yes. But just wait, next year it'll be more. So we will see you again next year for this exact same thing. Ugh. And if you haven't seen it already, check out We Have Boss been doing that with the PlayStation 4 and the Switch, because again, same Switch. idea. Those are the current collections that are growing the most, the fastest rate each year. So we do a second, did a second annual one no, of those. No, DVDs already. grow the most. DVDs grow, but it's different. DVDs, DVD is too hard to tackle, and like DVDs, you know, TV not series happen. and everything. Yeah, not DVDs gonna not gonna happen. happen. DVD, it's more of like we'll show the collection of this TV series, or we'll show a collection of this, or I already did collections for uh, Marilyn Monroe and Arnold Schwarzenegger and some actors, and all my DVD collections are in there. So if you're interested, look for any of those collection videos on my channel. Did a whole bunch there, but yeah, so for 2021, January, starting off the year, this is our Blu-ray collection so far, and we'll see how things go and grow before next year.